for the first time in months. Hampshire County will soon have new representation on Beacon Hill. 22 News reporter Nick Oresco joins us from our Hampshire County Bureau with a look at some of Tuesday's winners. Yeah, Barry, it may be hard to believe, but November is right around the corner, and that means the winners of yesterday's primary, they got to get back to work. The votes have been counted and the race for November is on. Lindsay Sabadosa won the Democratic primary for the 1st Hampshire District, the seat long held by late Peter Cocott. Although she will not face a challenger in the fall, there is still work to be done before November. Now the work is going to be getting out there and meeting the people that we didn't meet the first time around and having more conversations because even if there's no one else running, there is still an election in November, and I want to see voter turnout for that, too. Daniel Carey won the second Hampshire district seat. He beat Marie McCourt. And Mindy Dom came out on top in the third Hampshire district. Now, despite the primary election falling the day after the long holiday weekend, voters say the turnout was exceptional. People are motivated to make change in this political climate, and we're not just concerned nationally. We're concerned about the grassroots right here where we live. We know that that makes a huge difference in our everyday life. Amherst, newly town council candidates have been narrowed. Four candidates have qualified as councillor at large finalists. Come November, it will be a 13 member council out of an original 33 candidates. Joe Comerford did beat out Chelsea Klein in yesterday's Hampshire, Franklin and Worcester state Senate seat. Now that seat was formally held by Senate President Stanley Rosenberg. He resigned back in the spring. We're live at our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton this evening. Nick Oresco, 22 News.